Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick follow-up here. Um, if you watched the video I posted yesterday uh, about my son's deer hunt, um, you probably kind of heard the panic in the blind. Um, he had the crosshairs on that big doe and his gun went click when he pulled the trigger. Um, and then he actually, he was gonna grab my gun and I realized I hadn't even loaded my gun. Um, we got out to the blind, I was just opening the windows and the deer started coming out on the fields already. So I was busy videoing him, videoing some deer, and then when the deer started coming in, he had his gun up and ready. Um, I assumed maybe we just didn't um, put a shell in the chamber, which uh, I went back to the blind and I picked up both the shell that we ejected and the, the one that he used to shoot the deer. Um, my son has a 270. Uh, it's a gun that he won. Uh, at a National Wild Turkey Federation banquet when he was 10, which obviously uh, a 10 year old shooting a 270 was probably a little much for him. So I was able to find the Hornaday Custom Light Reduced Recoil Ammunition, and that's what he shoots out of it. And he shot a few deer with that gun now, and it's worked really well. Um, well, like I said, I found both rounds, and I'm assuming you probably won't be able to see on the camera, but Both primers have divots in them, so the one that didn't go off has just a small divot in it. And then the second shell, when we uh, we worked the bolt, and then of course the deer, they heard us, they locked right onto us, and he had just enough time to make the shot. Um, when he had the misfire, uh, the deer were probably at 45-ish yards, and then they actually walked in closer, and then we worked the bolt. They were about 35 yards when we did that, and he was able to make the shot. I'm sure if he wouldn't have uh, been able to make the shot that quick, they would have been gone. But I just thought I'd share what actually happened in the blind. We actually, we did have a shell in the chamber, and that's the live one. And you can see there's a divot in that primer. It just didn't go off. Um, and I know those Savage Access guns are pretty cheap guns. So I don't know if it just has a weak firing pin. This has never happened with that gun before. But uh, either way, we got her done. Uh, it just was a little bit of a panic in the blind there when we, we had the misfire and he was going to use my gun. My gun wasn't even loaded. Um, and then we got his gun back out and I got it set up on the deer. And I actually worked the bolt as fast as I could and then said shoot. And he was ready. He got on her and shot. And it worked out, but uh, I guess those things happen.